Hi students, welcome to today's section. Today we are starting a new chapter Kerala, the land, the rain and the people. Our state Kerala, the goats on country is known as an agricultural state. Fertile soil and abundant rainfall make Kerala favorable for agriculture. Let's learn more about our state. Have you seen places like these? Yes. This is a market. We can see lot of vegetables, fruits, flowers, etc here. Do you know from where these vegetables, fruits and flowers come from? Let's check it. Kerala was the center of an agrarian culture in the past. But now Kerala has given up its agrarian culture. People of Kerala depend on other states in India for vegetables, fruits, flowers, cereals, etc. nowadays. Do you know the land share of our staple food rice comes from far off places like Simandra and Odisha. We eat many vegetables daily. Most of these vegetables we eat comes from kambam Teni, Metupalayam, Uti, Nagarkovil, etc. The flowers like jasmine, chrysanthemum, marigold and lotus that are sold in Kerala come from beyond the border. Tamil Nadu is the leading supplier of vegetables, groceries and flowers to Kerala. Have you ever thought why we bring all these things to Kerala from other states? Previously, such a trend was confined to the town alone, but now it has become common in rural areas as well. Why can't we cultivate these vegetables, flowers, and cereals in Kerala? Let's check the reason for it. The essential factors required for the cultivation are fertile soil, favorable climate, availability of water, manpower and high yielding seeds Tamil Nadu is one of the lead supplier of vegetables flowers and groceries to Kerala Let's do a comparison with our neighboring state Tamil Nadu First we will do a comparison on major types of soil In Kerala major soils available are alluvial soil laterite soil forest soil and red soil and in tamil nadu red soil black soil laterite soil and coastal alluvium from these alluvial soil is the most fertile soil for agriculture now let's check the availability of water in kerala annual rainfall is 300 cm as rainfall is sufficient irrigation is not necessary in most places but in tamil nadu the annual rainfall is 95.9 cm as rainfall is scanty irrigation is essential there are 44 rivers in kerala but there are only 14 rivers in tamil nadu after comparing the agriculture situations in kerala and tamil nadu we come to an inference that types of soil in both states are almost the same fertile alluvial soil is seen in kerala the number of rivers is more in kerala the amount of rainfall received in kerala is far ahead of tamil nadu most of the regions in tamil nadu irrigation is needed for cultivation so we came to a conclusion that in kerala The conditions are favorable for the growth of not only coconut, paddy, tapioca, yam and elephant foot yam but also spice crops like pepper, ginger and cardamom. Then why do we have to bring most of the vegetables, flowers and cereals that we need from other states? Because Enough vegetables are not cultivated in Kerala. 
part of our agriculture land is kept uncultivated these lands are used for construction and other purposes lack of high yielding seeds crop destruction due to change of climate then wage increase of workers farmers do not get adequate price destruction of hills and paddy fields due to human activities lack of interest in cultivating traditional crops many educated people are attracted towards non agricultural jobs change in traditional food habits and loss of traditional culture generally people in our state are not interested in agriculture works so students today we discussed about the essential factors required for cultivation then a comparison between kerala and tamil nadu based on major soil types and availability of water and why we have to depend to our nearby states for vegetables cereals flowers etc i hope all of you understood today's topic we'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter take care thank you